Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get down in the comment section, have a conversation with Big Boy Sports. That's me, oh, or some fellow compatriots that are here and subscribed already to this channel. So, um, another crazy week in college basketball has passed. We're now getting ready for a new week of craziness. We don't know what the we don't know what the world it's gonna bring now that conference play is here and ready for us to um, digest. Uh, we're gonna skip a couple of days down here. We're gonna go down a little bit here. Um, as per usual, again, um, I mainly focus on Saturdays and Sundays. So um, obviously, there's some key games during the week that most of the top ranked teams have to keep their eyes out on um, but main concern is going to be on Saturday and Sunday so uh, we'll take a look here um, as I'm pulling it up the Saturday schedule which it will be the 11th and the 12th of course um, so first off we got a big time matchup at 11 a.m. in the afternoon or 12 that's noon eastern time you know um, it'll be on Fox of course so it'll be Ohio State who's been struggling a little bit trying to find their rhythm um, taking on Indiana um, a team that I've really not seen much about and they've been kind of under the radar for me to be completely honest with you um, but um, I think this game will be pretty good um, Definitely keep your eyes on this on this game at 12 o'clock on CBS. Uh, that'll be Baylor and Kansas, man. Um, these are probably the two best teams in the Big 12. Um, talent just top to bottom is good. For I saw Baylor the first for the first time all season last week, uh, or rather a couple days ago, um, when my Longhorns played them and got just basically beat down like the little kids that we were um, at Kansas. Kansas has been quietly skating by um, ever since, you know, they lost to Villanova um, a month ago. But um, I think I think this game will be, you know, a, a real, real game changer for them both, for both these teams anyway. And, um, you know, somebody's going to come out with the Big 12 title this year. Um, could Kansas reclaim their spot at the top? Who knows uh, with the way the season has been. So um, I think Baylor will give Kansas a tough fight, though. Um, I'm going a little bit down here. And he's going to be Louisville taking on Notre Dame. Keep your eyes on that one. Um, Creighton taking on Xavier at 1 o'clock on Fox as well. You know, if you want to want to you know keep your eyes you know busy and stuff like that um let's see keep on going here gonna keep on going now here oh here we go syracuse taking on virginia now virginia might just use their defense to beat syracuse to be completely honest with you but who knows maybe jimbo heim and company could give the, the uh, cavaliers a fight i don't know I don't know to be completely honest with you. But we'll find out though. We'll find out on Saturday. Um, let's see. Keep on going down a little bit here. And. Huh. Texas Tech, West Virginia. That's a very interesting game to be completely honest with you. And Georgia, Auburn. Both these games will be at the same time. It'll be at 5 p.m. Um, it depends on which network, of course. Um, not sure yet. But um, Auburn's still undefeated. We don't know what in the world to happen to them during the week. Um, obviously, if they come in on Saturday with a loss, um, you know, it'll be it'll be a momentum killer in Georgia. Georgia's got, just got a big victory against Memphis, to be completely honest with you. Um, and it was a great win, man. Um, Texas Tech and West Virginia, on the other hand, I really don't know much about, to be completely honest with you. 
I mean, yeah, Texas Tech went to the Final Four last year and stuff like that. West Virginia is still trying to, you know, trying to prop themselves up as some big kid at the Big 12 table. Um, but my eyes will probably be more towards Georgia Auburn considering there's a playoff game probably on at that time. So um, we'll see. We will see what in the world happens there. Um, yeah, I'll keep your eyes on both of those games as well. Um, well, that's not very nice to even end off the night on ESPN. Um, and for me, um, at 7, and for any Longhorns fans out there, we're taking on Kansas State at home on the Longhorn Network, which is so disgusting that we have the Longhorn Network as, you know, um, as a place to where we have to watch our games. Um, I'd rather it be a Big 12 network, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. I, I, I don't care at this point. But Kansas State's a team that's just kind of uh, on the radar, but I'm pretty sure we'll probably either win or we'll probably lose like we did against Baylor. I really don't know. I, I just do not. Most Texas fans, like myself, do not trust Shaka Smart to, you know, really put this team anywhere on the map. And so I don't think it's going to happen. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, moving on here, and I don't see Gonzaga anywhere here for these games on Saturday night, so I'm not sure where they're at. Don't see anything about San Diego State either, which is the other undefeated team right now. Um, oh, no. oh, there they are. They're taking on Boise State, but that's on ESPN 3, and that's at like 10 o'clock at night, so well, eh, probably not going to be awake for that. Um, let's see. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Not much here, to be completely honest with you, on Sunday, January the 12th. But Cassius Winston and Michigan State take it on Purdue. And I do remember that Texans did beat Purdue. So that's a that's a positive. That's the only positive that the Longhorns could take um, from non-conference play and stuff like that. Uh, but Purdue is a pretty interesting team. Um, Michigan State more so, though. Um, I don't know. This will be another tough test for, you know, the Spartans, considering that they had, a, well, it was not really so much a, um, a tough test. <sighs> kind of ended up being a blowout, but I'm not going to talk about that against Michigan on, on Sunday. Uh, but, yeah. Michigan State, Purdue, that's going to be a fun game, let me tell you. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, trying to gain more insight as we go along into the ba into the college basketball season. Um, because now it's January. Now, you know, college basketball is finally picking up the steam. Um, Unlike the NBA, the NBA is just so, just so irrelevant right now. Because, I mean, there's like 40 teams in college basketball that could say, hey, we can win a championship with this team, you know, with, with, with our team. It is going to be a crazy, crazy ride to get to March to see who's going to be, you know, in and who's going to be out and who's going to be on the bubble and all that good stuff. That's neither here nor there. That's not today. That's not our worries for the day. So... That being said, everybody, y'all take care. Um, we'll see you guys in a few hours or so, or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I have to get over um, my excitement for Mike McCarthy being the Cowboys head coach. Um, we'll see you guys probably tomorrow for the divisional round, the divisional playoffs, the preview for that. <laughs>